Okay, now we're going to look at the history of Israel, part two, and it tells of the travel of the Israelites. Uh, there, there came a, a time of famine in the land, and Jacob and all his descendants left the land of Canaan and went into the land of Egypt in Genesis chapter 46, verses 5 through 7. Even though they were eventually mistreated in Egypt, God's chosen people went into Egypt as a family and came out as a nation. And this nation called Israel is God's elected or chosen nation. Uh, and you'll find that in uh, 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 Isaiah, uh, no, in Genesis uh, 45, uh, verses 4, and chapter 65, verses 9 and 22. God had several reasons for this election of Israel, and here's a partial listing <clears throat> for those reasons. Uh, they were to tell the world about the existence of God. That's in Isaiah 43, verse 21. And they were to show the world the blessings that come from belonging to God in Psalms 144, verses 15. And they were to write and preserve the word of God according to Deuteronomy chapter 4, verses 5 through 6, and Romans chapter 3, verses 1 through 2. They were to bring the Redeemer, Jesus Christ, into the world. And this was mentioned in Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. Uh, Jesus' nationality originates from Israel, making him Jewish, according to Genesis 12, verses 1 through 3. And then Jesus will be a descendant of the tribe of Judah, uh, Genesis uh, chapter 49, verse 10. And Jesus will be of the house of David, according to Isaiah chapter 11, verses 1 and 2. And Jesus will be born in Bethlehem, according to Micah 5, 2. And Jesus will be a divine being according to Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. So it is by promise the seed of the woman, which is Jesus Christ, can be traced to Seth, Shem, Abram, Isaac, Jacob, and Judah. So Jacob went into Israel or Egypt as a family and came out as a nation, the nation of Israel. Uh, the nation of Israel was redeemed by the blood of the Passover lamb and came out of Egypt by God's power. Uh, when God brought them out of Egypt, they went into Mount uh, Sinai, uh, where God made a promise to them. It is called the law, also known as the Mosaic Covenant. Uh, it consisted of three parts, the moral law in Exodus 20, verses 1 through 26, which includes the Ten Commandments. And the civil law, Exodus 21, verses 1 through 24. Oh, 21, verse 1, and, and chapter 24, verse 18, which governs our everyday life. Uh, the third is the ceremonial law in uh, Exodus 24, uh, verses, uh, verse 1 through uh Chapter or and and uh, chapter forty verse thirty eight, which regulates their religious life. <clears throat> it is important to keep in mind that the previous covenant, the Abrahamic covenant, was not done away with, and that's in Galatians chapter three verses seventeen through eighteen. It was unconditional and remained operational, and this is one of the keys of understanding the history of Israel. So about 1440 B.C., the Israelites arrived at Mount Sinai, and Moses went up on the mountain uh, where he was to meet with God, according to Exodus chapter 19, verse 3. Um, God reminded him of how he had delivered them from Egypt, and now gives them a new covenant, which is called the Mosaic Covenant. The dispensation of the law uh, begins with the Mosaic Covenant. Moses uh, returns and tells the people of the covenant, and the people agree to do all that God has spoken. So Moses uh, returns to the mountain, and God gives him the law. And the people became impatient with, uh, when Moses did not come back right away. And they made an idol and, and brought offerings to it, and had a feast, and they drank and played uh, before the idol. And God... Uh, 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 becomes angry and uh, judges them, and 3,000 of them die. 
And that'll be all for this uh, part. And uh, I thank you for listening.